I mean, he did good. He lost a lot of weight too, but the conditioning is where I destroyed him in, in a sense. Like that was pretty much the only thing that got me the pro card in that division. And then in physique actually was the same. I was the most conditioned guy there. I mean, you, you saw my picture today on my calves. Like I looked down, I was like, holy crap. Like, <laughs> like, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah that's, the, that's the best part about the whole thing. When you like look at yourself and suddenly like, what am I looking at? Like, yeah. What? No, yeah. Like who? It's this true. is not me. Like who is this? Yeah. And then you're you like, over, did I do this? Like, like load <laughs> like, Whoa. Like. I hate wait, uh, people waiting on me and shit, so it's not a problem. Okay. Yeah, no, I kind of feel like the douche because you're the person that's like prepping at this point. So, <laughs> um, I mean, I got I got my music down. Uh, fine, like, well, I got my posing down in a sense for because like this is my first year posing. If you want to start recording, because yeah, is, we're gonna get, we're getting to some good information because yeah, I already started. I'm just gonna start a stopwatch thing. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so I mean, this is my first year competing. So, uh, as of learning how to pose, I started learning in January. So I don't have that much. I mean, I've always obviously posed in front of like, you know, the mirror and stuff like that, but I never knew like transitions, what, how mandatory are supposed to feel, especially the difference between like physique and like classic physique. Yeah. And I decided to do both because I, I've always liked classical bodybuilding. That's when I fell in love with bodybuilding. Like yeah. pumping iron pretty much is like yeah, the first yeah, yeah. movie I saw. Everyone sees it and they're like, oh, I want to be like Arnold kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, so that era has always been like my favorite. But um, once I decided to do both of the posing, and then we went to like a seminar for the IMBA, which is the, comp the, the division or the federation that I'm competing with. Yeah. They made me feel very worried because I was like, shit, I don't know anything about posing. Like they were tweaking me. They were moving me. They were telling me like, oh, the judges well, might the be. Day of the show. So the day of the show originally was supposed to be April 4th. Okay. And that was, and then they had like a seminar a month before that kind of just went like an oh, over. Okay. I get it. I get it. Okay. okay, okay. Like what's going on. Oh, okay. 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 But, but there, like, I mean, I was a month out there, and I was doing all my dieting myself and everything. Literally, Greg Doucette's um, yeah, yeah, yeah. print has been, been my main thing. Yeah. Just eating very uh, high-dense foods with low calories has been like, the main thing that I've been focusing on. So, like, volume is key for me because I used to be a, not a legit competitive eater, but I used to eat a lot of food and do, like, okay. five pounds at a sitting type of food. So. Okay. I have a huge stomach <laughs> and so <laughs> the hardest part of this whole thing has been filling up my stomach and not, you know, cause I mean, I live with a roommate and they have like, you know, little stuff like this laying around. Yeah. Like, yeah. I see all the time. And then unless yeah, my yeah. stomach is cool, then like, yeah, I, yeah. I'm going to want to eat that shit. Yeah. So that's why I goes to the three salads. But once I, once the April show got moved, it was like, oh, I got more time to learn how to pose. And oh, that was okay. a beautiful thing. But funny thing is the day of the show, I didn't know I had to learn how to do the rear lat spread because I didn't know that was a classical. For them, okay. for IMBA, they have a lot more. I mean, they do side chest in physique, which is not common in like NPC or anything like that. But they do all the poses, in my opinion, because they want you to transition into classic and bodybuilding a lot easier if you ever want to move up. So there's a lot more posing that needs to be done, but obviously foot placement and all that stuff changes depending on the division you do. And this is all stuff that I'm literally learning this year. Like, yeah. I'm an engineer. Yeah, I, I'm, yeah. I started as an engineer. I never yeah. really thought I was going to do it, but with the whole like COVID thing and like not knowing if like, you know, competitions are really going to be a thing. I was like, I've got to jump on this. Because yeah. I know a lot of people that were going to compete this year just gave up. Oh, and okay. I was like, that's kind of how I saw it. And it's like, I was like, I'm not going to give up. And it's probably going to be working on my end as a positive because there's probably going to be less people there. Less people, yeah. So there'd, be, so there'd be less of a competition. And I mean, yeah, for Class Week, it was just me and another guy. 
So, and then this guy, I mean, no offense to him. Like he, he, I mean, he did good. He lost a lot of weight too, but the conditioning is where I destroyed him in, in a sense. Like that was pretty much the only thing that got me the pro card in that division. And then in physique actually was the same. I was the most conditioned guy there. I've had master bodybuilder guys that were there come up to me and ask me what I did in my, my peak week because oh, of how God. dry I looked. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. that once they were telling me that, I was like, all right, I guess I know what I'm kind of doing. Yeah. And I mean, my, my coach did help me out with like the last of the peak week. It's a little bit different than what Greg Doucette does. And then like, yeah, his yeah, whole yeah. Peak week. Um, I'm obviously not going to give away his secrets and stuff like that of how he kind of yeah. had me, prep. but yeah. I didn't change my sodium leading up to the show. No, so no. he doesn't change sodium. He doesn't change the variables. Um, in his opinion, as a natural, uh, it's not necessary. And it might hinder you in your posing, especially because I was doing two divisions. Yeah. I'm posing so, yeah, for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And I looked a lot better in my physique than I did in my classic physique. And that's the pictures that I sent you. That was my okay, physique. Okay. So okay, that's okay. when I was like super peaking. And like the 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 thing that's going to be more, I guess, difficult in this next show is that I'm doing four shows in technically because I'm doing my pro debut as an amateur on Friday of uh, of the thirteenth uh, as a physique and classic physique, and then I'm going against the pros classic physique and physique on Saturday. So oh. technically, he's going to have me carb up into the amateur show and then yeah. peak. On Saturday, oh, even okay. though I've already posed on Friday, so that's yeah. It's all it's all new territory. Like yeah. it's exhausting as hell, <laughs> but but I'm kind of yeah. I like the challenge. Like that's the thing that's been keeping me. Uh, I guess you say keeps me motivated is just how difficult it is. I've always yeah, lived yeah. my life comfortable, and then like the suck is what I kind of like. Like I complain yeah. a lot though, but it's. <laughs> It goes with the territory, and I'm pretty sure you know exactly. Yeah, you went yeah, yeah. The beginning yeah. of the year, but like, the, what sucks is having to wake up in the morning to work out and like roll out of bed, and then literally work out right in the same area where I just rolled out of yeah, bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was that's by yeah, far it's starter, the yeah. hardest part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You wake up like trying to shove your legs off the bed, like I <laughs> so sore, and I mean. <laughs> You know my cardio, but I mean, I'll, I'll kind of brief it so people understand. So my cardio, which I've been doing from the beginning, it started by just going up a hill with yeah. a camel backpack. But I started adding weights leading up yeah. to the show because I can't add duration because of uh, the time limit that I have. Oh, like okay. I work, I work uh, about an hour away from where I live. So driving an hour there and back, but, I'm losing yeah. two hours. Two hours in a day, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And those two hours could be used, obviously, doing cardio if I was yeah. home. But yeah. because I was an essential worker, because I work in air conditioning, and I do uh, programming for uh, air conditioning equipment. So okay. sometimes, some days, I'm going up and down ladders and stuff like that. So it adds extra work into my, uh, I guess you could say my regiment. Uh, but it's with the calories being low, like I have to go up a ladder, like super slow right now, just to make sure I don't fucking fall off. <laughs> but in a sense, <laughs> having such a limited time, I thought like, oh, if I include a kettlebell on my back, it's just going to add more load to the work. And then that's pretty much yeah. what's been working. Currently I have 15 pounds on my back and I okay. do cardio. Cardio is about 12,000 steps. In a day, usually is what I hit. And then I'm only doing, or I hit with the weighted uh, weight. I do that six times a week right now. And one day out of the week, I just kind of just walk to the beach without any hills, and just kind of just get my steps in without yeah. having to worry about having weight. Just more yeah. of a relaxing day to kind of recoup. Like I don't, I, I don't. I mean, I don't believe in off days of doing nothing. Like that's. I think idiotic, like okay. a minimum, you have to do some walking and some <clears throat> stretching and like, yeah, yeah. okay, okay, you, okay, you meant like, okay, okay, you meant like some That's activity, but not like weight training, man, like, I, no, 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 yeah, okay, 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 I don't weight, tra I weight train five times a week, okay, okay, yeah. okay, 
Yeah, no, we trade five times a week, but I mean, I don't think about off day meaning doing nothing, just sitting on the couch. This is, yeah, 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 just laying in bed or doing nothing at all. Yeah, exactly. Okay, <clears throat> that makes sense. <clears throat> okay, no, I'm gonna edit this part in. <clears throat> but just give me like an intro on who are you because so many people just joined yeah. up and for them it's gonna be like oh these two meatheads are just talking about dieting sucks but like who is this yeah. guy? <laughs> <laughs> so my, my name's uh christian rodriguez uh i live uh, born and raised in long beach california pretty much uh families from mexico small little tiny town so i'm first generation here uh in the okay. united states uh so i grew up in a mexican household I mean, that's my first, actually, my first language was Spanish, and then I started learning English. Uh, so, so that's pretty much the overview. I mean, I mean I'm an engineer, studied uh, at Cal State Long Beach here locally. I mean, loved Long Beach so much, I never left type of thing. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I started bodybuilding in 2012 because okay. I found out I was type 2 diabetic. So I wanted oh. to pick up, yeah, so I found out I was type 2 diabetic, and it was just like, the peak, obviously, everyone has that breakup that you end up gaining a lot of weight in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it's a simple story that that, yeah, that everyone has. Yeah. Uh, but I, I got to the point where I was eating like a large pizza a week. Like I would large just pizza a week is nothing. What are you talking about? Well, I mean, like that was just the minimum. Like uh, for yeah, sure, every it was a large <laughs> pizza every week, and then like my mom's cooking, so like that's okay. like six, six to seven tortillas a day. You know, because, okay, okay, okay. yeah, every meal has tortillas and beans <laughs> and cheese. And like, you know, but all that. And, and I live in a household where food is never wasted. So, oh, and I would, yeah, yeah. you know I mean? So that mentality of not wanting to waste <clears throat> food, I would always binge and gorge to the point where I would knock out, like, a lot. <laughs> okay. Buffets, buffets every Sunday. Like, it, it was it was too much of a common thing. And then that's when I ended up finding out that I was, uh, I was type two diabetic. And if I continued going, I would have to start using insulin. Ooh, so okay. that's what kind of freaked me out. And I've lost uh, family members <laughs> to diabetes. Oh, so okay. from that reasoning, I was like, I got to do a change. So the first like year and a half, I did paleo. So anything processed was out of my diet. And then I ate the only carb source really I ate was vegetables and sweet potato. Like okay. that's pretty much what I did in about a year and a half. I ended up losing, uh, almost over, yeah, almost a hundred pounds because wow. I was starting at about 285 and I got down to about 189, 185 ish. Yeah. And then from there, when I found it's like, Oh, I want to start learning how to get strong. And then yeah, I yeah. started. Doing Wait, so were you just dieting or were you actually training as well? Or I was doing some training, but it was like, if you see like the very first pictures on my Instagram, I was, uh, <laughs> I started doing like a lot of running and it was oh, mainly okay. like, doing like, uh, plyometric stuff, like stuff that was freaks. I don't have a gym. Uh, so funny enough, I went back to working out of my home, which was how I started in 2012. <laughs> like I started doing that. What is it called? Uh, P90X? Shit. Yeah. It's like P90X, but like the UFC version of it. Oh, it was wow. like... I used to torrent. I you torrented like all the free stuff. Like, I, yeah, yeah. Have, yeah. I never baked it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like dude me and you're so same we can't sh we can't waste food because i'm indian like we can't waste food and we also don't want to spend any money for anything <laughs> yeah the trust me seeing your youtube videos i see the commonality between indian families and mexican families like, yeah it's just it's, we like spicy food like yeah. it's all about the mom's cooking it's like all mom's cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 definitely but um, once I, you know, once I got into doing like Spartan races and stuff like that, I noticed that oh, I was kind man. of really, like yeah. upper body wise. And then that's when I decided to do lifting. And then uh, I ended up getting an LA fitness membership off of, from Costco where you buy like three years and it's like discounted to like 15 bucks a month or whatever. And that was my Christmas gift that my dad got me. That's so awesome. then from there. I kind of just fell in love with lifting and then learning how to lift. I did power lifting for about a couple years and then I transitioned it to power building in mm -hmm. a sense. Cause I, I wanted to eventually do a bodybuilding show, but I was always too shy and like yeah. nervous. And I was always the fat cuddly kid or the fat chubby kid that was just like a nerd 
playing video yeah. games and coding behind a computer. Like that's yeah. always been who I've been. So uh, getting out of that shell was uh, the hardest part for sure. And then uh, truthfully, like confidence is still up and down. <laughs> like it, funny enough until this last show and how many people were like giving me like, in a sense, props. not praise, but props. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. they're, they're explaining how difficult what I got to was. And then once I got that perspective, I was like, oh, like shit. Like I kind of did something. Like, I did it's something. Something. Yeah. No, I did something. So uh, it was a good learning experience overall. And I'm excited to continue, you know, like yeah. learning. I mean, I just started this year. <laughs> so, I mean, if I did that good, I mean, obviously, like I said, there, it wasn't that stacked. But now that I'm going to the Natural Olympia, which is the biggest show they have, yeah, I get yeah. to, in a sense, learn from everybody else. That's how I see it. Yeah, like, yeah. at first, I was psyching myself out, like, thinking, like, I shouldn't do it just because I want to win. Like, Oh, really? Okay. Well, like, it, you psych yourself out to the point where you're like, I want to do so good, but so many people that have been doing this for years are going to be there. You yeah. kind of start to into your head. And yeah. you, you know, prep, you know, prep mind, like yeah. you start, you know, you get into your own head. Uh, but I mean, I've had uh, a lot of my coach, especially is like, dude, don't even think about this now as of like during prep. Like think about yeah. this when you're, when you're, when you're with high calories and you're comfortable. Cause like how happy you felt that day is only going to improve from there. And like, you're only going to improve from that point. Like my goal is to just beat the last person on stage that I was. Yeah. So like if I was the most conditioned guy, at least I know I will be the most conditioned guy there yeah. or like repeat it. If I lose on size, then I'm, I mean, there's, yeah. that's just me having to, you know. You yeah, know, there's, no, you, you can't, yeah, you can't compete because that's a time thing. Like, exactly. I don't know how much you have left. Like, I don't know how much potential you have left, but at the same point, it takes years to build muscle. So if someone's been yeah. doing it for 10 years, even if they are in worse condition than you, but they're like whatever one and a half times bigger than yeah. you. that's not that you can't compete against that um, yeah i mean not to name drop but like listening to greg Doucette say that if you don't like reach it the first few years you always could get the potential like because i don't think i ever bulked right like in a sense because even my bulking i would never take it seriously i would be fo more food focused than i was working out if that okay. makes any sense like I would be worried about getting calories in over recovery, my sleep. I would do a lot of like, I mean, I would drink alcohol and stuff like that on the weekends. So like my sleep would then be shit. It yeah, just yeah. Become, it, beca it became a, uh, a learning experience of how much you actually have to uh, take advantage. So baby just walked in. So I might have to change my, my position. But it, if it becomes too much of a rowdy noise, just tell me. But uh, yeah, uh, it, it, I learned a more. baby just walked in. Yeah, there's a little baby. So there's <laughs> the baby and the mom that uh, lives with us. So my roommate, the uh, sister lives with us that has a oh, baby. Okay, 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 okay. Sometimes she gets rowdy. So if anything, <laughs> I go, if, if anything, I go into my room. But yeah, yeah. Uh, the so for me. Yeah, shit, I lost my point. <laughs> I think you were talking about like uh, Greg who said some said something about if you don't do. Oh, so, yeah. So I focused and I wasn't focusing on recovery, and I wasn't really focusing on like really going harder than last time. It was more yeah. just going in and getting work done. Now I'm focusing on time under tension. Now I'm focusing on actually controlling the weight and not worrying about just pushing the weight. It yeah. was, I'm switching away from the powerlifting mindset to more of yeah, a hyper. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think that I've maximized the amount of muscle I can gain, is what okay. I'm saying. Okay. And that's so just not my opinion, but yeah, I think there's a lot of room for me to grow in that sense. Because I've, I've grown, the, well, I don't know if you know, but like the reverse diet out of a show, how my coach explained it to me, is like the best time period for you to grow is because you've depleted so much that you start including calories that your body is like just absorbing everything that you have. So if you, I mean, I lit, I did legs post show Sunday. Like my coach is like, we're not wasting these calories or eating. Like we're not taking a day off. We're, yeah, we're yeah, yeah. 
I was tired from posing. I was exhausted from posing. But he was like, we're hitting legs on Sunday. I was like, shit, okay, cool. <laughs> Good to know. Uh, but that, that itself, my hamstrings definitely grew, like, post-show. Like, not, like, drastically different, but they're definitely hanging more than they were from the original part. And then uh, my uh, shoulders, apparently, like, they, they have more of a roundness to them. Like, I... Obviously, it's not that much of a drastic difference, but I because I have pictures that I've been taking since the beginning of this year, yeah, and I'm definitely leaner now. Uh, two weeks out or ten days <laughs> out, I'm definitely leaner than I was uh, leading up to the show. Yeah, in a sense. so oh okay, yeah, and I'm at at least four hundred calories above that right now from where okay. I was peak week if that makes any sense so i'm my conditioning is pretty damn insane right now and i'm only and i'm still 10 days out and i'm with the calories he's just dropped me this past week like i got even more shredded this week and that's like the pictures that i've been posting recently so yeah. I, i'm excited to see how much more my conditioning is going to be compared to the last show and that's you're just ten, my you're 10 days out at this point uh yes I believe so. We're actually, what we're in the first, so the, first, yeah. Yeah, so I'm twelve days out. I have it, or I have the calendar one day before the show day, just to freak me out that I'm closer to the show day. Like, I want to be ready, you know, Thursday, not Friday, in a sense. Yeah. Like, okay, how my mentality works. Okay. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I guess the only thing I don't, I don't know. Like, um, that would be the only thing that I would. Like, I guess I would question would be when you're when you're yeah. when your quote says um that you that immediately post the show so it's the rebound thing like everyone I guess it depends on whether yeah. you rebound it or not or like what I mean by that is like most people want to rebound by smashing food like just going berserk right. and then when they do that they want to like add a well I'm talking about like people that are enhanced now they want to add a bunch of drugs and or they want to add like a bunch of insulin and everything and because they think like the post show yeah. rebound they can try and gain all of that into muscle. And uh, that's not a thing that really happens. No, 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 no. That's not kind of what I'm saying. Like, so what, he only gave me a free meal Saturday and free meal Sunday, and I was back to macro. Okay. So, but it's what I'm saying is that your body itself wants to grow because <laughs> more of like, a, I guess you could say it, you're, good, you're more of like a survival mechanism. They'll explain it that way. Yeah. So, like, you've been, you've been depriving your body so much. Yeah, that on the reverse, meaning two weeks before, like the slower obviously you go, the more benefit you get off of it. In the yeah. sense that you're slowly trickling in your food, and your insulin is slowly starting to catch back up. Your, you know, your metabolism is slowly back, uh, coming back up. Your mm-hmm. body is just more in, like, oh, he's finally feeding me. Now yeah, we yeah, can yeah. start building. In a yeah. sense, he's had a lot of athletes because he's he's the, he's competed. He's a judge, a natural show judge. So he has a, a lot of training for naturals or a lot of uh, knowledge behind natural athletes. And he tells me that every single one of his athletes just grow like certain muscle groups that you deprive during your your peak. Just seem to just want to like soak up the food if you don't over indulge because if you over indulge in my opinion i think your insulin is just all over the place mm-hmm. and you don't have a balance of insulin like even a person that's enhanced they're artificially adding it so yeah. their own body is not catching up yeah. it's kind of like coming out of it the slowest as possible but again this is just what he believes and what his assumption yeah. is I don't know how truthful it is, but I, yeah. as as of my next reverse, I'm gonna notice to see if anything else does grow or whatnot. Yeah, because I mean, I, I weigh pretty much the same, uh, so like the weight didn't really go up. So like when I'm saying I gained mu- a lot of muscle, it could be maybe like 0. 0.3, 0. 0.4 yeah. pounds of muscle. Like yeah. it's nothing crazy. That's what I'm yeah. you know. So 
I'm not saying you're gonna gain ten pounds of muscle. Yeah, like no, I, I'm yeah, I'm not even here. Like, I'm not even like trying to correct you or anything. It's just that's the yeah. only new new thing that I actually heard from what he said because that's the, like based yeah. off of what anything that I've heard from like let's say Eric Helms or anybody else. Like, because these are the guys that compete with like ninety athletes, and it's always the same thing. Like by the end of it, which which are some of the questions that I want to get into after. It's like yeah, of course, a yeah. natural athlete is so destroyed like completely because their hormones. And when I say hormones, I mean everything like your your testosterone. Oh, no, yeah. your insulin is gone like every, yes yeah, exactly like, you know, so, yeah. me, <laughs> so if everything is destroyed it would not make any sense to me uh based off of that that your body would at all want to build muscle because at this point it just feels like you're fucking dead like let's just try and stop starvation which the first thing would be to add fat so like let's try and get back into that and then go from there so that's the only thing that that is so, sounds a little bit counterintuitive to me yeah the only reason I think that it has some truth to it is because he continues to have me lift heavy after. Like I don't stop yeah. lifting heavy, and okay. not like so that's that's how I see it. Because I even with the food that I did have like on Saturday, I had like ramen, and then I had my mom's cooking on Sunday, like her like home cooked meals. So like that was all full of carbs. That the leg day that I had on that Sunday, even though my body was destroyed. I ended up having like a really good leg day. Like yeah. it was like crazy good. Like I had the craziest, not aside from the craziest pump, I also had like um, just, I was like, I even hit some PRs. Like it was just kind of crazy in a yeah. sense from, from where I was. So yeah. it was more of, I think if the body's, it's kind of like, how do I call it? It's like if you never put the body into stress, in the point of it giving it a reason to keep the muscle then it's gonna yeah. obviously not want to keep it and not care about it but because yeah. i never had a day off until like a week and a half after yeah up, like i kept just going and going it's kind of like giving the reason the body like hey if you get away from this muscle we're probably not going to survive that's kind of yeah. how i see it okay like, so that's how i see it obviously there's no analytical you know yeah yeah behind it but it's just more of how i see it like if you okay. don't give the body to keep the muscle then it's obviously yeah. going to hibernation like if yeah. you obviously don't lift and don't do anything then yeah it's like oh yeah let's just store fat this guy's being a lazy yeah. asshole <laughs> I completely see yeah, that, in my yeah. Opinion. okay dude at the end of the, at the end of the day it's also placebo like if you think that that's what's oh, happening yeah, why yeah. the hell not like just think it's happening and just go with it you know like yeah, yeah. <laughs> who cares what what like a certain book i'm happy with this. that i'm happy with that point one extra muscle that's cool. <laughs> yeah exactly yeah um okay what was some of the things that i so i already have a bunch of questions there but um i'm wondering yeah. if there was anything that popped up yeah, between I, I generally take notes but i forgot like taking notes at this so I just, time i'll shout out my coach but our, sure, barbarian yeah. hack yeah barbarian hack hack l is his name yeah. uh but yeah I, I met him through uh, Tiger Fitness, which is the same supplement company oh, yeah. that I'm an affiliate for. Uh, but he's uh, he's he's one, like an athlete. I mean, my goal is to eventually be an athlete for him. But it's kind of like Mark L L Lobeliner told me: "He's like, what are you going to give? What are you going to benefit the company if you want to be an athlete?" So I'm going to destroy this Olympia as my goal as best as <laughs> I can. Yeah, go up that way and be like, "Hey, make me an athlete." <laughs> yeah but, yeah how old are you uh chris if you don't mind me asking 28. 28 okay yeah you're similar to okay all right and uh and you said you started lifting in 2012 or something how long have you been lifting where you think that you've been smartly doing stuff uh i feel like the doing. past two years is the past proper yeah because i i i ended up like injuring myself about four years ago i did a powerlifting meet and I was just, I was always about chasing the numbers about four years ago until like, uh, I ended up like messing up something with my back. I don't know exactly what it was, but I was warming up doing squats. And then all of a sudden I felt a shock up my back yeah. and it just like collapsed me. And then ever since then, I was like, I'm not going to be, a, I'm not the strongest person in powerlifting. I keep getting beat out by people that are shorter than me that have like a smaller range of motion because I'm, I'm six foot and I weigh, or I was weighing in competition for powerlifting. I was weighing about 205, 215. Oh. So I wasn't lean at all. 
uh, compared to what I am now. Like, and right now I'm hovering around 75, 173 is where I'm median weight is at. Yeah. Uh, funny enough, I'm actually at my show weight weight right now. Okay. From my first. That's, that's the shocker more than anything. Cause so I you're weighed one. You're, you're saying you're leaner at this point in time. Well, I've, I've hit 173.8, which is the lowest I've ever hit ever. Like since I've started this, cause that before my show day, I was 170, 175.2. So I am definitely leaner than I was then and more, a more vascular. I mean, you you saw my picture today on my calves. Like, I looked down. I was like, "Holy crap!" Like, <laughs> like, like, like <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the that's the best part about the whole thing. When you like look at yourself and suddenly, like, what am I looking at? Like, yeah, what? No, yeah. Like, who? It's this true. is not me. Like, who is this? Yeah. And then you're you like, look over "Did I do this?" Bicep, <laughs> like, like load that. Like, whoa! Like, crazy. Like, yeah, like, yeah. That's that's, that's the fun part. That's the fun, and that's the part that can, that's why uh, fat loss is much easier to kind of even go along with because. Gaining muscle is really hard to see. And when you get fatter, you see less of it. So you still know yeah. that you're kind of following the process and you're going with it. But like, that's when like, that's why leaning is a bit more fun, even though it's more torture for us, I guess. Um, yeah. Because like every, like when you keep getting leaner and leaner and then you're like three weeks and four weeks and eight, whatever, X week, number of weeks in and you can see this happening and that happening. You're like, oh, that's where the 50 salads that I just ate. That's what's happening. That's, and yeah. then you're like, no, okay, yeah. All right, perfect. bring on the next goddamn salad. I can do it. All right. <laughs> because then- Definitely yeah that's I'm the more of like, oh hell yeah like that's why eating three of these salads a day hasn't really bored me and i mean i'm using pretty much the same seasonings same, yeah, all yeah. the time that's the part that time. i hate yeah i mean i use different hot sauces that i kind of vary my uh that's the thing that varies the most but i mean even with the dressings that i use i don't know if you ever heard of bolt house but it's a yogurt based dressing. So it's a lot less calories. It's like 40 calories for 30 grams. So, okay. and then I just add other spices that are just obviously no calories. So like cumin, I use a lot in my salads, oregano, basil, garlic. So it's, it's still very delicious. I mean, in my opinion, but the only variable I guess is just how much of it that I add and how much, but hot sauce for sure. That's yeah. what saves me. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, I, I took two notes down here. One was the the mind muscle connection thing that you mentioned, or, yeah. or or actually I put down mind muscle connection because you put in um you you're now training with more uh, purpose behind what you're doing and you're putting in more time under tension as opposed to like literally just lifting the weight. And, oh yeah, um, yeah, big and difference. that big yeah difference. big difference with respect to hypertrophy, huge difference. Yes, big and difference. Uh, and you will notice that you kind of even get weaker, like you get weaker in terms of numbers. One hundred percent. No, yeah, one hundred percent. That's yeah. why even working working out from home hasn't been that difficult yeah. with having with having fifty pounds. Yeah, because, because you're just the, yeah, yeah. The first few months, like I didn't get this, I didn't get up to ninety. Like I haven't even hit ninety on chest yet. Like I I just bought the expansions to the power blocks just so I could eventually hit that weight in yeah. a sense. But I I've been using a lot of bands like. Like even with like, I'll do like front squats with dumbbells in front of me. I would put a band over my yeah. back yeah. first over increasing the weight in front of me because adding that extra resistance on, you know, the whole movement has been a lot more beneficial than increasing the weight from, yeah. in my, you know, and then a, a lot of supersets to like with stuff with bands and then weights. So I'll do weights first and then I'll superset it with something with bands right after just to get that extra muscle mind connection to what I've already just hit in okay. a sense. Yeah. Okay. That, that's what I've noticed because well, I don't have that much time to lift either. So having a limited amount yeah. of time, I'm trying to tax myself as much as possible, resting as much as I can, but also keeping it the same rest throughout my whole peak week or through my whole uh, cut, in a sense. How, I haven't uh, increased the time of rest, in a sense, even uh, though I'm linked to the weight. Sorry. No, no, no. Sorry. I was, I was going to say, like, how long are you training? Like, how long can you train? Uh, usually, I on leg days, I try to wake up at, like, 2 a.m., and then I leave the house. Yeah, 2 a.m., so I explain it. So I wake up at 2 uh, because I do uh, vacuum training. Uh, yeah, yeah, my, yeah. 
makes sense. So makes I do sense, that, yeah. that. It takes up some time. And then as soon as I do my vacuum training, I meditate. And then I weigh myself. Because that usually takes time for me to actually go to the restroom. Go, yeah, yeah. Send, send it to my coach. And then I immediately I start prepping my pre-workout. And that's why I have like an outright bar because it's easily digestible protein bar. I could eat it right away and then start my warm ups or like okay. warm up and eat my bar as I'm warming up because yeah, I, yeah. I just don't have time to, yeah, yeah. to work out. So then I start working out probably around three o'clock ish because all that stuff that I do takes about up to an hour or know, so. Yeah. And then, uh, so say I start at three fifteen, I have to leave the house by six fifty seven. Yeah. So about two hours and 45 minutes is the workout, quote unquote. Okay. All right. Roughly. But okay. that's including my warm up as well and my lifts. Okay, so, okay, okay. yeah. Right, and that's assuming right. that I'm not like taking that much. Some days I have to, as of now, I've been wanting to rest more in between stuff. And sometimes I don't get to finish my workout, which kind of mm. sucks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I try okay. to get as much as possible. And that's why I started supersetting. Because when I yeah, wasn't yeah, super, yeah. Sick, it's impossible to get through yeah, all the work. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, that's the same thing that I was doing with uh, with Greg's program as well. Like he added in supersets basically. Every like everything was a superset after doing legs. Like after you finish your front squats and your back squats, then he would have you do leg presses, and then after that, every single thing else was a superset: adductors, abductors, uh, calf. Uh, no, not calf raises. Uh, extensions, uh, leg extensions, uh, leg curls. And like one something else somewhere in there. I don't know what it yeah. was, but just a basic, like a massive, massive superset. And then b the biceps were superset with calves. Like, and his leg day was insane. Like his leg day was absolutely yeah. nuts. Like looking at it uh, from, from my own sense, like it, it's just yeah. too much. It's way too much. Um, but that's what he wanted me to do. So I did it. And yeah. Um, so, yeah, but again, if I didn't do supersets, I would, uh, there was no way that I, even after doing all of the supersets and everything, I still think that the, I would be in the gym for at least 2.5 hours. Like there was no way that yeah. it was less than 2.5 no hours. Yeah. yeah. Because the squats, especially the squats are so hard. Like it takes you. And even then, if I'm trying my absolute best to like not go more than two minutes to three minutes, it's just, they're so hard to, to like. That's impossible. Recover. Yeah. To the recover, squats yeah. took me like the full first uh, 50 minutes was like just doing front squats and back squats. That was it. It was like 50 full minutes. And then the remaining one hour and 40 minutes to one hour and 30 minutes was leg presses plus all the supersets plus calf stuff plus bicep stuff. Yeah. So that was that. Yeah. So I was it, trying to find out like how long it takes you. Yeah. That's what I was trying to find out. Yeah. About the same time. Yeah. Two hours, two hours and five, or two hours and a half is roughly, inc that's including my warm up. So yeah. let's just say give me one, two I'm hours. Sorry. Give me one Cam? Yeah. I'm recording a podcast, bro. Oh, sorry about it. That's okay. Yep. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. But primarily, it, it's because, so the, the two hours is roughly what it is, but like I, yeah, same as you, like I, I, I maybe an hour, a minute to two minutes is my rest time. Like anything more than that, it becomes just a waste of time, in my opinion, or it becomes a waste of time. I feel like I'm wasting it. So I try to rush through it as best I can. <sighs> Uh, but I'm more worried about the muscle mind connection that you brought up. Cause like when I started focusing on the muscle mind connection, like even how you brought up, like you're doing a lot less weight than what you're accustomed to. Yeah. Like you think, you think that you're a lot stronger <clears throat> until you start yeah. controlling the weight. Then you're like, holy shit. Like I actually am not <clears throat> that strong than what I thought. Like it's pretty yeah. funny. So like, here I, at this point in time, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm at my peak or whatever. Like I'm really good. Like obviously I'm not dieting down. I have I'm in a surplus of calories. I have stuff going on. I I'm really strong. But even right now, I don't know why, or maybe I do, but my max bench at this point is like 75 pound dumbbells in each hand. For I don't know, eight reps, ten reps or something. <clears throat> and uh and uh that's for bench. Like there's video Yeah, that's for my that's for incline bench, yeah. And, yeah. um, <clears throat> and, uh, there's videos of me in my last prep, like way before my last prep, um, mm -hmm. uh, when I was benching the hundreds for at least four or five, really clean, really yeah. smooth, everything. Um, and the only difference is even though they were really clean and smooth there, I don't think there was much of a mind mm -hmm. muscle connection going on there. And right now, yeah. every single one is like, like I'm literally feeling every single thing, trying my best to like feel everything in every single rep. And the yeah. seventy five pounds, I just can't get. I just can't get beyond like eighty five. Like, there's no way they can get back to the hundreds. 
it's not happening yeah. so it it makes more sense and if i get to 85s and they go down to like four five reps or six reps or something so it doesn't make any sense so i just go back to the 75s and do more reps and i'm fatigued and i feel everything and i still feel like i'm growing there yeah so. i i think that <clears throat> it becomes more of a, an adrenaline rush when you're trying to do the heavier weight and then you just end up like you know uh yeah. hunting your back and then like involving your shoulders so it doesn't become an yeah. actual chest workout it becomes you like bringing up your butt just to try to bring up the weight and it just it just becomes like unproductive i mean in yeah. my opinion so i i, I agree cuz even me <laughs> like i i was hitting like 80s 85s i'm hitting like 70 on flat and 60 on the incline right now okay so i'm not i'm not that strong a lot of people <laughs> think that i'm like super strong and all this crazy stuff but it's like i'm more i'm more worried about getting my reps in and then controlling the reps than anything right now that's okay. the more important and it's a lot easier when you're working out from home <clears throat> and not ego lifting to try to impress other people that's yeah. for sure something that's been helping me out too <laughs> yeah 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 if yeah that would definitely help me too if i were to train at home but uh, yeah that's a secret yeah that would be a secret um superpower yeah. if you if you could do it <laughs> oh, yeah. that's what um, I'm saying. it's a, it's it's both a blessing and a curse working from home working out from home because one i'm saving time yeah and like the ego thing and then like people coming to talk to me like that's i mean we talked about this before like I have had so many people come up talk to me just because I lost so much weight before. Yeah, yeah. That it ends up taking up like an hour of, course, of my course, time. Yeah. yeah. And then like it doesn't benefit me at all from them asking me all these questions and then they don't believe me with what I think. So yeah. It's like ends up becoming like a double edged sword. It's like I don't mind people coming to talk to me, but I'm not benefiting from you coming to talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 All right, I kind of want to get into some of the questions and such. Um, yeah. Once again, just uh, I again, the only reason why I even went to the mind muscle connection is literally yeah. two days ago or like last Saturday, and like I've already, ha I think I think the first video for mind muscle connection is going out tomorrow. Like it, I, I should probably be making it public tomorrow. Oh, nice. Yeah, and so like, what is the mind muscle connection and how you get into it and all the reasonings behind that? That's going out tomorrow, and um, I already made a series on biceps, triceps. I think calves and like a bunch of other things, like the most optimal yeah. way to do them. And I, again, address the mind muscle connection in all of them. So, yeah. um, maybe right, a little bit late. For, yeah. The way that you, or for me, when I started meditating, I saw that improve as well because I was, I've never been so mindful until yeah, I started, yeah, yeah. you know, like yeah. I started noticing what I was doing wrong with, with the meditation. Like, even if I only meditate 10 minutes every day, that's everything every morning as soon as i wake up that's how i start it and that's i use the waking up app with uh, sam harris yeah. ever since i read his book i was like oh like i gotta check this guy out i mean i, I learned from him from, through joe rogan i mean that's yeah, same, yeah. Where, I, where, where i learned about him so once i actually started because i i came from a religious background i was raised catholic so with that i was always never understood the whole thing about praying but then like, that even <laughs> makes sense in a sense now now that i'm meditating like being mindful within yourself whether it's god or whatever you want to you know impose to be your your greater you know the yeah. greater thing that you think about it, it it's all on you and what you reflect on and how you reflect on everything so once you can control that it's all yeah. you know up from there yeah and you yeah yeah Okay, that yeah, that makes sense because I think you're right, and I think this was done in another podcast with like one of my first podcasts with anybody that came through from Greg Doucette. But basically, was uh, the same thing. The last rep that you're doing of any exercise, like when you get to failure, you get to those last couple of reps. Those last ones are not gonna go through if you're not thinking about just that rep. Like you're definitely yeah, gonna fail that definitely. one. Definitely. So you yeah. you have to be that's where the mindfulness. If you've never practiced it before, that's where it comes in. Where yeah. all you can think about is that one, and that's it. And you're not oh, thinking yeah. about anything else at that and point. As, time. And as soon as you get out of your mindfulness, the weight just kind of just, it drops. just go, Yeah, it just goes. I, yeah, yeah then I've you're noticed done. it. Like, yeah, I've noticed it's like it almost your form deteriorates. It almost seems like you don't even know what you're doing. Like it's kind of interesting. It's yeah, very I, interesting. That happens yeah. to me so much at this gym that I'm at. It's really annoying. <laughs> you see somebody yeah. crossing over or whatever, or somebody walking by, and then all of a sudden it's like it's like yeah. gone. Yeah, I, I could I could contest to that. But like that's the same. That's that's kind of the, the blessing and the curse the of being in my room. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what I like. Is that no one's gonna be crossing in front of me, 
like there's no external variables that are going to cause me to get away from my own mindset okay. like unless i get onto as soon as i get on my phone or on instagram and i start liking shit that's when i know i fucked up like that's yeah, 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 yeah. that's when i know yeah. i fucked up like the only yeah. reason I open my phone is to go into my notes and then add the rep and like then put yeah. my phone back back on my bed and then just continue going. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, okay. So I'm trying to figure out which one should we tackle first. Um, let's, let's tackle. Um, all right. Have you figured out what the fifth micro micronutrient is, is yet? And finally, if I can help you create a training program in order to gain muscle in the right places, or if I can help you set up a diet in order for you to lose fat more effectively and not muscle, if I can help you to understand what is a reverse diet and how essential it is for you and to set it up, if you're using SARMs or steroids or any PEDs and you need some advice on that, or if you're natural, but you have your blood tests and you don't understand them and you need advice on and trying to understand them. Or finally, if you're just uh, trying to figure out life and basically your psychology and other psychology as well, feel free to reach out to me for advice. I can help you how to navigate life and to make sure that you have a much more fulfilling and happier life as well. Please do not feel uh, ashamed or afraid to reach out to me. My Instagram and my email are both on the screen in front of you right now. And then finally, if you can help me out in any way, it's basically if somebody really needs my help or advice or guidance, but they don't even know about me that I'm out here to help them out, please let them know of my existence. Besides that, I hope you all have a nice day and I shall see you all next time. Peace.